Greetings to you and welcome back to our user support video series and this video focuses on the e-learning portal. The e-learning portal is the gateway to uh, various services that will enable you learn uh, virtually and uh, we are going to look at what each of these tabs is all about. So once you log into the e-learning portal, the first page you find here you are going to find various announcements that have been made uh, by the university to you as students and mainly to the distance learning students. So, uh, for instance, if you look at this, the first announcement there is the uh, January to April uh, 2024 uh, teaching timetable. And uh, to access that, you simply click on this link and it's going to automatically download to the device you're using and it is going to prompt you to save that. I'm going to save that on the desktop and I'm able to uh, have that on my end. Uh, you're also going to see various other announcements that have been made. And if uh, you want to see um, more announcements that have been made in a given semester, you just need to click on this aspect of older topics and you're going to find uh, all the announcements that have been made uh, by the university to you uh, shown there. The other uh, tab is the home tab and the home tab basically is going to take you to the uh, front page of our e-learning portal. So if we click on that, it takes us back uh, to the beginning of the e-learning portal. Then we have the dashboard and the dashboard uh, is basically going to show you uh, the number or the units that you have registered for. All of them will be uh, shown here. For this semester, I'm only registered for one uh, unit and it's showing here. And you can, of course, uh, track the completion rate. Uh, I've not done any activity in that class. Therefore, my completion rate here is at 0%. The next tab is the events tab. And the events tab is more or less like a diary or uh, a calendar that is going to basically show you uh, the upcoming uh, events. Uh, when the lecturers have called for a virtual class, uh, that is uh, likely to show up here. When you have an assignment due, it's also likely to show up here. And any other class activity like a discussion forum that you need to respond to, it's likely to show up on this events uh, tab. So it is important that you keep checking on the events uh, section to see any uh, pending activities that you need to uh, take in any of your classes. The next tab is an important tab for us because this is uh, basically the shortest way to uh, access the courses that you have registered for. So when you place your cursor on uh, my courses tab, it's going to list down for you all the units that you have uh, registered for. And uh, in uh, consecutive videos, we are going to show you how you access the uh, specific unit and how to carry out any activities in those uh, units that you have registered for. The next one, uh, we will explain this uh, in another video to show you what uh, this course is all about. The exams portal is a tab that uh, you use to access your examinations portal and this is mainly um, used at the end of the semester when you are writing your final uh, semester examinations and we are going to have a separate video that shows you how that works. And next to that is the library and uh, of course as an online student you need to access uh, library resources uh, remotely and this tab here helps you uh, access that. Next to that is the Bible study and uh, of course this is a Christian university and you need to uh, access uh, the Bible study and any other resources that have been posted from our chaplaincy department and we are going to show you how to uh, access that again in a consecutive uh, video. The faculty resources are meant for our lecturers therefore we are not going to mention that and the student resources uh, this is a collection of uh, various uh, resources that you need and again we are going to show you how that works in a separate video. <music> 